Let's go. Continue. The Saxons must have stolen this longship. They added our clan banner, but do not know how to mount shields. the sentries not me is that a joke you won't be laughing when I drag you before Earl Edward to answer for your incompetence I would very much like to meet your Earl Edward uh, captain I think that's a real Viking drop your weapons Shane, and submit to me I'm Norse and you will die for soiling the honor of the Raven clan You are true, Raven Clan. My name is Roshan, and we share a common enemy. Sir Edward. The Earl of Resterna is a puppet, manipulated by one called Alcira. A fitting title given her duplicitous nature. She belongs to an order who employ disruption and strive to further their ends. Your clan is a tool in her schemes. I've met such weavers of intrigue before. And those who oppose them. I would consider the enemy of my enemy a friend. Let me guide you to where you can take your revenge on the Earl. Lead the way. If this Alcila seeks to wield my clan's honor as a weapon, she shall find it cut both ways. Satisfy yourself with the Earl, and leave Alcila to me. Ah, uh, perhaps this task is best left to one who is younger. To one more familiar with these lands. I was killing her kind before you were off your mother's teeth. The Earl's death will draw her out. Leave the rest to me. That blade you wear upon your arm. Where did you get it? It was a gift. From my brother. Truly? Is he a... A great warrior and traveler who discovered many things. And yours? Reclaimed after a long absence. The years without it were the hardest I've known. Your endurance is impressive for one of your years. And I meant no disrespect when I offered to kill the one you... My blade has grown neither rusty nor dull. What I lack in brutish strength, I make up in quiet subtlety. I too can be silent when I choose. Ha! Huh. You may be exceptional among your kind, child. But I am a lifetime ahead of you in that. What do you know of Earl Edward? Why does he hate the Raven Clan so? He blames you for the loss of his title and property. The very land where Ravensthorpe now stands. It was there for the taking, abandoned and uncared for. His quarrel is with those who came before us. It matters not to him. He hates all the Vikings and will work with whomever will help discredit you and drive you from England.
Who have a better view from atop this tower? That is where Alcila and the Earl may camp. At Ravensburg, no less. They will choke on their arrogance. Alcila's gold has built up the fort's defenses. It will be no easy thing to penetrate. A challenge for some, perhaps. Less so for me. Do you know what lies within its walls? If I describe what I've learned, could you picture it with your mind's eye? I can do better. Soon in! Listen carefully. The Saxons within the outer wall are less disciplined, <laughs> relying on their Viking attire to deflect curiosity. They will not notice one more Viking among them. I could use the outfit I took off the dead Saxon at the longship. Very good. Also, some Saxons are engaged in tasks which could help you blend in. What of the Earl? Where is he? Within the heart of the encampment. He plays at holding court, but in truth, Alcila keeps him leashed like a hungry dog. The Earl's death must be loud and unmistakable. A clamor Alcila cannot ignore. So, a silent approach with a noisome finish. This is your counsel. Is your mind capable of balancing two conflicting ideas while orchestrating this necessary distraction? I could kill the Earl a hundred different ways while composing a great song for the occasion. Do you have a preference? In the open, beneath that tree, approach silently. Then kill him in full view of his men. That will draw the spider out. I will create a commotion the guards could not ignore. Good. Will you now don the outfit you took from the Saxon imposter? To better blend with the rest. What do you see, Zunin? This disguise will help me play the imposter. At least they got our colors right. I need to be patient or risk rousing suspicion. Oh! 
that about. Using shrubs for cover. Hey, what? to die!
Why is the Earl so obsessed with the Raven Clan? They took his land or something, I don't know. Who cares so long as we're paid? The brush won't hide you. Have you seen that foreign bird, Alcila? Oh, I wouldn't mind a slice of that. Way I hear it, she'd cut you ten ways to next week. Anyway, she rarely leaves that cap of hers. Keeps it locked tight. This area is heavily guarded. I need to take more care. Need your eyes, my friend. I will not let you tarnish the Raven Clan a moment longer. I know what you are. You belong to the Raven Clan. You are a blight on this land. I will be the scourge and cleanse the island of your kind. You can dress as we do, but you will never fight as we can. I failed to achieve the desired distraction. Perhaps some fire will draw our sealer's attention.
run while you can, cowards! And never cross my path again! Stay your hand, mighty warrior! I offer you everything I gave the Earl and more. An army greater than all others. A kingdom to outshine. It is done. Freya's might to be that deadly after so many winces. That was a glorious sight, wise one. It was as though Hell, Queen of the Underworld, descended from that tree. Uh, I think I felt her in my bones, and not in any comforting way. Are you... Uh... Uh, I am fine, though I will pay for that glory later. So, now that your destiny is achieved, will you seek a more peaceful path? Alcida was merely an obstacle on a long road. This is the real prize of the day. I'd retrieved it after I put that witch to rest. What is it? The future. A seed to plant in Jerusalem. So the fates are not finished with you. Does it ever end? And you? Are you satisfied to have achieved your vengeance? My greatest satisfaction is knowing that the honor of the Raven Clan is unblemished, and that my people are safe. As it shall ever be, so long as you are the champion. Goodbye, Eivor Wolfkist of the Raven Clan. I shall ever learn more of her story.
Between you and me, Aver, always thought you'd be a good job. What have you got for me today? I can get you that one easy. Ah, oh, let me look at you. Wonderful. I do good work, I must say. I will see you later, friend. Until next we meet. One more, and only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one, this one begins a long time ago. You... May I see your stores? Only a fool would pass this up. Yes, great purchase. Perfect. I'll happily take done shopping for the day. I'm off. Be well, friend. Always a pleasure, Eivor. is heavily guarded.
to Alfred's heartland. I hope Guthrum has a sound plan. Strange to see Norse and Saxon banners flying side by side. I should find good. Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There's an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilled? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this fort is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hall. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king. And that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. Guthrum does not negotiate with oathbreakers, men whose words are only shadows of their thoughts. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to, a Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the king's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head! In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. 
So let the betrayer be betrayed. We'll burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Burn Wareham to the ground! Make it a Saxon pyre! Place is routed somehow. Good work. We leave now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. Step 
shot. Hey! We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Mm. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there, and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know, they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uber lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them. We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There's much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, Ivor. I've come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. There. This is the blockade. The hostages must be in these buildings. What is your plan? We can tread quietly, so as not to alert the guards. But I can raid this place in moments with my crew. I will follow your lead. See your men. No, but we must keep looking. Do you think he kept his word? He swore he would not kill them. I cannot say for certain. Just hope we find them soon. Ah, I had to hand them over. <laughs> Alfred demanded it. We will save them, Guthrum. Stay calm.
not deserve compassion. I will wash my blood in their blood. Slashed and disemboweled by sharp weapons. Saxon blade from the front. Avenged.
Hey, hold on. To the camp near Tipu. Find your countrymen there. Good. We pay back the Saxons for the insults they heaped on us. Guthrum, some of your men. We will not be feasting in Odin's Hall tonight, boys. Are you Guthrum's men? Aye! Free us and we will fight by your side! Gods be good to you, and thank you! Every Saxon who spat at me will die! You will have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to a camp near Tippenham. Thank you, Eivor. You did a great deed here. Their families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. We're safe here. Let us speak. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery? Your leadership, Eivor? You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. 
You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of full case torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings. Poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. <sighs> and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. Mayar, we must speak. Another matter that needs my attention. An epic tale. The last time we were docked, I saw two drunk as Odin warriors take a tinkle of this great river steam. You know who you are, both of you. No need to raise your hand. But did you know I saw your water stain the sides of this ship? Take Such the a dishonor to so loyal a steam. Do you realize how many trees had to die for us to use them as our vessel? A long ship is a hundred horses that made it the sacred fish. Gudrun and Gudrun are like the bloody elves of Asgard. You dare desecrate this scourge of the Swan Roads. Make offerings to the hull. This is our home upon the waves. Yeah. Hail to our river king, wave walker and loyal serpent. I think I have said enough. Let it never happen again. Yeah. Alfred spoke of Uber meeting his end at the Avon River, west of Uffentune. I fear the worst, but I must know.
ship! Stories must wait. Let's hear a story. When I was eleven winters old, I was the... You will pick up from there. You. There you are, Raven. Lufina, pure. It warms my heart to see you well. Well as ever. Better since we skinned those order rats. I hunted down more in Winchester on Alfred's behalf. Now we come to take his kingdom. How quickly a coin can flip when tossed from hand to hand. Only a fool is a betting man. Aye, Hjor. Alfred thought to use me, but he will find differently at Chippenham. We owe Eivor a lot, my love. I know, I know. This last of Ray, I hope the dead will be killed. I long to... Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. I will greet my allies first. Good. Come find us again when you are ready. All is ready, and your allies have arrived. Speak to them, if you like. I'll be here when you're done. I know, I know. This last of hope the death will be... I... A few survivors found their way... Eivor! You made it unscathed! Let us speak of our plan to take Chippenham. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Atkin and Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might.
Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. <laughs> and remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards! Lufina, cure! Keep a strong flank! Get to the village and wait for my signal. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house. my torch. Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side, all those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder, do your worst. No fear of death. But this battle is only the beginning. Only darkness will come to claim you.
If I must strike down all of England to subdue her, let it begin with you. O oh Lord, into your hands I commit my spirit. Fighting with the rest! These men will not surrender! And one little talk slog about it! I will find a way in! Oh! <sighs> 
Good work, Guthrum. I hope the rest are fared as well. Did you see Alfred? No. The two Saxon boys were ambushed. One lady wounded. Hold these men back. I'll find them. Go away. They will not better us. Wailing. I... I cannot. And there is a blackness closing in around my eyes. It frightens me. Forgive me, Humwald. I should have been quicker. No. No. You were my staunch protector, Ellerich. Eivor. Have you seen graver wounds? I will carry him from... Walt, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Eivor. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, sob bright words of welcome, and until you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor, my truest. Nothing more you could have done. I need to see if Broda has taken the garrison. We 
Most of them. Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others. Let us finish this! Stop, you! Ah! Follow my lead! Ah! 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 We have the advantage! Come, brothers! Let's end this! We stay here! Not on this Christ mess! I'll kill you! Stand true! God protects us on his day of feasts! Nice gear! God loves me! These things defy our God and King! Stand true! God protects us on his day of feast! Saxons are fleeing! 
The battle is won! They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from y'all. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled! His patsy struck down! Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here! Good from hear me! Soma is... She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the Endless Feast, and she is the better for it. I must speak to those still living. I need your eyes, my friend. You're not injured, Tefta. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bones. Those who fell sit beside him now. And what of my heathen friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. It is done, Brodia. You fought well. I saw him, Eivor. In my darkest moment, Brothir stood beside me. And all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Havor, In amongst the blood and death. Bruthir at my shoulder. Until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? 
Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours, but it came at a great cost. Soma Jalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand, she will live on in our memories from now to the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Humboldt, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its light before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger.
May I see your stores? You like the looks of that one? I feel like a proud father. Look how strong you are. Done for now. I will see you later, friend. Be well, my friend. tied to secure victory. Your dear Humboldt died a hero and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. We'll leave you to mourn, and know that we're here for you, always, should you need us. Thor's testicles! What is happening over there? Eivor, good to see you! And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one, this one begins a long time ago at the desert of this far away. Oh, look at you, Chewie. Pleasure to see. Hampton Shire has fallen, and with it the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. Desert oasis, far away, a place of mystery. And a temple to a hidden god, the gap. Eivor, good to see you. I am, uh, uh, did you want something, or? I was wondering. What's wrong? Bridget and I were thinking, 
With everything calming down the way it has, maybe you could find a spare moment then. You want to be married? Yes, uh, to each other. Yes, I imagined. Gunnar, to see you so happy has been a pleasure. And to marry you would be an honor. Shall I put out a call to any friends abroad? I'll be honest, Eivor. I came here with a lot of you because nothing and no one kept me back there. The Raven Clan is all the family I need. And Bridget too. From all she said, she's better off here than with those she calls kin. Just a couple of foundlings we are. Then let's not bother with tradition. If you have your bride and your blade, we will see you wed. As Jarl, I do it gladly. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I will bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day, to celebrate the strength of your bond and to see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. <laughs> to you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dio, see to the carriage gunner. To the ever I'm luckiest with the door heat of tea and hariat. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the prodigy on future and heen, at the sword tawaloch in hope, a premonition. On the mount of scrying a foresight, para toivi a sweeping adventure meeting to. Tiur enoid val de maras, a dean as strong aburetiki, a kvel as he fears, a kalon and headband to reti. Such poetry, oh dear, you make me cry, my love. Let his head van evangeli, travoid and beyond. I offer you this ring, and take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I quisk of a Valkalon, adoration a fee than bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunnar so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. 
After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. And V, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. Something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. I should go. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
Go, Sudan. Sunan, guide me. Careful, Grandmother. Something fell from the sky to Earth, like it had been thrown by Odin himself. A strength he no doubt wishes he possessed. No danger remains. But look, it revealed something hidden in the mountainside. Looks almost like a door. If it is, then it's the door to something that I have long been searching for. May I ask you for a kindness, Drinker? My name is Eivor of the Raven Clan. And that depends on how kind you need me to be. Will you grant me a home while I investigate the door? Eivor of the Raven Clan. I don't make a habit of sheltering strangers. My name is Hilderan. There. Now we are no longer strangers. Please. If I am right, then this is Freya's gate. Allow me to stay, and I will help you discover the treasures that lay on the other side. Very well. I will give you a small piece of land to make a home on, and supplies from our age to build with. Thank you, kind Eivor. The gods smile on you. I may be kind, but I am no fool. Everyone must pull their weight, and I expect no less from you. A fair rule, and one I can easily follow. For the kind, a welcomed visit. Like what you see. You have certainly made this space your own. But how does this help you open a stone door? It is a shrine to Freya. We will need her favor if we wish to reveal the hidden treasures. Ah, it's we now, is it? I told you, Eivor. You will want to see what is on the other side. Now come. Freya demands combat before she will aid us. For a moment, I thought you meant for me to fight you. Fear not. I can handle myself. I cannot possibly fight you. I would kill you. You could try. Attack me. <clears throat> now get up, and let's give Lady Freya a fight. Fight harder, Eivor. Yes, give me everything you have. You're leaving yourself open to attack. Good. Now watch. Me again. 
What magic is this? And how do you fight with the strength of a berserker? I can teach you, Eivor. But first, we fight! These are not my weapons. Are you already making excuses, Trink? Good! That was good! I have seen many strange things, but nothing like this. What magic do you possess? I have not seen a seer fight like that. I am no seer. I am what you see before you. An old warrior with a knowledge of secrets. If that was not magic, then what was it? That was a battle meditation. You entered Hugerheim, the mind's realm. It is a secret form of training that not many know. You can attack full force with no fear of injury. And yet, you know this training. You're glad to have let me stay now, aren't you? Very much. Tell me, what part does the amulet play? It is a vessel. It needs to be filled with the energy created in battle. But it will only work with this type of shrine. They can be found all over Mercia. I have many questions still. I promise you will get answers. But first, I have marked a shrine location on your map. Once there, enter a meditation. The amulet will pull you into Hugerheim. And what happens when I've finished my training? Then, you return to me. Very well. Have you met Volker? Something of you reminds me of her. Go now, kind Eivor, and train. <laughs>